morning, it's just wonderful to have you all here in San Pedro. My name is Kenrick Brackett. I'm originally from the new capital city, which is called Belmopan in the country of Belize. This is San Pedro, the place that I really love. This is where I met my wife, by the way, which is just awesome. My life has been so amazing and I'm so grateful. My dad passed away when I was nine years old and um, that was a real hit in my life that um, I will never forget. It left a scar in my life. And I grew up trying to defend myself fight my way through life because I didn't have a dad to defend me. I had elder brothers and sisters, but they all went away. You know, it's only 13 of us in my family, by the way. <laughs> so uh, I'm the youngest and my brothers and sisters, they're way older than I am. And so I grew up, you know, going to school. And I remember I had just like one brother in school. And sometimes I would call on him to defend me. But there are times that I had to be defending my own self and defending him. And then he goes and he tells my mama, hey, Kenny's fighting out there again. And I'm like, this boy doesn't know what he's saying. I'm trying to defend him. But pretty much what I'm saying is that I didn't have anybody to defend me. I didn't have a father, so I thought I got to fight on my own. And I remember sometimes I was crawling in the house, you know, because when I'm coming in late, my mom doesn't like it. And my mom was on her knees praying and crying out to God and say, God, don't give Kevin no rest until he seeks your face. And I used to hate when she does that because I thought I wanted to go and party, you know, with my friends and, and have fun and enjoy life and be normal because I thought that was normal. But what happened is that from that time, God was calling me to, um, to come closer to him. And I remember in the evenings that my mom, man, I could remember this like yesterday. She used to sit in a chair, um, a, a, wood, a wooden chair, you know, about this size. And she used to sing some of the most amazing songs that I've ever heard. And she sings them to God. And that was what touched my life. Two things. My mom, in the evenings, she sang. And late at night, she falls on her knees and she prays for every single one of her children. And to this day, it has, has a strong impact on my life. So when I started uh, high school, I still wanted, you know, to go out and, you know, well, I love playing basketball and I wanted to go and party with my friends. And I did it for, for a little bit, but uh, it didn't work out for me because I, I, I always felt there was a... It was a talk that say, Kenny, you know, um, God is calling you. You, you got to come closer to Him. And it so happened that when I was in a second form, um, God touched my life and um, I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. And it had been challenging from then. But one of the key things that I want to point out, during those times I used to go on like short mission trips here in Belize to the different districts. And I remember um, on one mission trip to the south, um, God spoke to me and he says, Kenny, I'm your daddy. And I wept like a baby because I, I lost my dad at a very young age. And from that, my life began to transform little by little. But it, it was not until I was um, about 26 years old that I really grasped what God was doing in my life and I really grasped the fact that He is my Father.